John McAfee was the founder of McAfee Corp, which is a well-known security software company. In 1992, McAfee took his company public, becoming a multi-millionaire in the process. Despite his good career start, McAfee struggled in his personal life and was a heavy alcoholic. John McAfee later claimed that the Belize government is corrupt and the police suspected McAfee is somehow involved in the killing. In 2015, McAfee ran for the US presidential election. In 2020, he once claimed that he has 47 children. In January 2019, the IRS began investigating McAfee for tax evasion. He fled the country, spending most of his time on a yacht. John McAfee in the very beginning had a tough life. His father had mental issues, he was abusive, and he later shot himself. McAfee died hours afterward in a Spanish jail. Reports indicated he died by suicide. John McAfee was the founder of McAfee Corp which is a well-known security software company. The company has annual revenue of $2.9 billion and has around 7,000 employees. John McAfee was smart, but for many, he is considered to be the most controversial personality, especially in his later years of life. One such example is in 2012. His house was raided by Belize police due to reports of methamphetamine production. John McAfee later claimed that the Belize government is corrupt and that if he had donated $2 million, then there would have been no raid. Later that year, someone shot John McAfee's neighbor. Coincidentally, McAfee had not a very good relationship with his neighbor, and the police suspected McAfee is somehow involved in the killing. McAfee had an argument with his neighbor about McAfee's dog, and his neighbor poisoned and killed all four dogs. Next day, neighbor got shot. McAfee somehow escaped to Guatemala, their local police caught him, and at the time of his arrest he had a heart attack. As once he said, It was a deception, but who did it hurt? I look pretty healthy, don't I? Everyone was looking for me and they did not catch me. I escaped, was captured, and they tried to send me back. Now I'm sitting in Miami. There had to be some ineptness. What a better story, millionaire madman on the run. In 2013, McAfee, being the creator of the popular antivirus, created a video that it titled, How to Uninstall McAfee Antivirus. In 2015, McAfee ran for the US presidential election. What were the results? No one knew he was a candidate. In 2017, he tweeted that the new coin Verge is the future. The coin pumped 500% within days. Later screenshots were leaked that he charged over a million dollars for the marketing. Besides Verge, McAfee and his associates believed to make at least $5 million with similar arrangements. In 2020, he once claimed that he has 47 children. When McAfee was 15 years old, his was died by suicide. Several decades later, Spanish authorities claim that McAfee died by suicide. His death was the most controversial ever. Many believe he faked his death. Many think he owned millions of dollars worth of crypto and Spanish authorities stole his all crypto and killed him as he died inside the prison, while others believe it was the McAfee way of dying. He remained most controversial person in his life, and his death should be the most controversial death ever. Want to know how a nerd like John McAfee who created antivirus in the 1980s became one of the most controversial people ever? Watch the full video. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. John David McAfee was born on September 28, 1945. He was born in Gloucestershire, England on a U.S. Army base. His father, Don McAfee, was an American while his mother, Joan Williams, was British. While he was young, his parents moved to Salem, Virginia where he was raised. There, his father found work as a road surveyor and his mother as a bank teller. John McAfee's father was an alcoholic and very abusive. Growing up, he would often beat McAfee. When John was 15 years old, his father shot himself. John struggled to understand why these events happened to him and he later developed trust issues and alcohol dependency. When he finished high school, John proceeded to Roanoke College in Virginia where he studied mathematics. He paid his way through college selling free magazine subscriptions with high postage payments. He graduated in 1967. Afterward, he enrolled at Northeast Louisiana State College to earn a PhD in mathematics. However, he did not finish his studies there. 
John McAfee was adept at solving mathematical and algorithmic equations, making programming very easy for him. In 1968, he found work as a programmer at the Institute for Space Studies in New York City, New York. The Institute was run by NASA. McAfee worked there for two years, even contributing to the Apollo program before leaving in 1970. In 1970, McAfee joined UNIVAC as a software designer. He later got hired by Xerox to work as an operating system architect. From 1978 to 1980, he worked at Computer Sciences Corporation as a software engineer, and then from 1980 to 1982 at Booz Allen Hamilton, a consulting firm. Despite his good career start, McAfee struggled in his personal life and was a heavy alcoholic. He even engaged in drug use. In 1984, while working for Omex, he was fired for his drug dependency. Around the same time, his first wife left him. McAfee enrolled at Alcoholics Anonymous and began his journey to sobriety. Soon after, he found a job at Lockheed Martin. While working at different technology companies, McAfee launched several side projects. For example, he started a project selling input-only sound cards for PC. These only had a microphone connection but no speaker outlet. He also ran an online bulletin board. Outside the world of technology, McAfee sold jewelry to tourists while traveling to Mexico and identity cards to California residents, indicating they had passed STD tests during the AIDS pandemic. None of these early projects took off. McAfee's next one, though, would catapult him to global recognition. In 1986, while working at Lockheed Martin, McAfee read about the brain-computer virus. The virus was developed in Pakistan and once it infected a computer, automatically copied itself on all floppy disks inserted into it. At the time, most people in the digital tech world had not heard about computer viruses. McAfee found the prospect of a computer virus terrifying and fascinating at the same time. He immediately recognized that as the PC and internet industries grew, so would the threat of computer viruses. Hence, because he understood the code of the brain virus, developed a way to neutralize it, and then hired engineers to create the antivirus. This was the birth of the first antivirus. McAfee left Lockheed Martin and in 1987 founded McAfee Associates. That same year, he began distributing his antivirus. At the start, McAfee spread knowledge on his antivirus through online message boards and then gave away free copies of the antivirus to users. Unlike other tech companies at the time which sold their programs to users, McAfee gave his antivirus away for free, only charging users later for upgrades and support. He had used a similar model to sell magazine subscriptions in college and knew he could scale it with digital offerings. He did. Once McAfee's antivirus software became the most widely used, he began licensing copies to PC companies. By 1990, McAfee was clocking $5 million in sales. Besides running McAfee Associates, McAfee regularly appeared on television warning about emerging computer viruses. Some of these included the Morris Worm, the Data Crime Computer Virus, and the Michelangelo Virus. His efforts increased awareness on the need to install antivirus protection on PCs. In 1992, McAfee took his company public, becoming a multi-millionaire in the process. He wanted to cash out. In 1993, he stepped down as CEO of McAfee Associates, and in 1994, sold off his entire stake in the company for over $100 million. After selling his company, McAfee continued his entrepreneurial streak founding several ventures. His first post-McAfee venture was Tribal Voice, which developed an early messaging system called Pow Wow. He ran this for about four years before selling it to Microsoft in 1999. In 2000, as the dot-com bubble imploded, McAfee bought a 200-acre property in Colorado and started a yoga retreat. He gave out free classes and even wrote guides on spirituality. Next, he started an aero trekking venture, where he tried to popularize low-altitude flights. It never caught on. McAfee also made some real estate investments in the period, buying nine houses. He was forced to sell these at quick sale prices following the 2008 housing market crisis. He later moved to Belize, a country on the southern border of Mexico. In Belize, McAfee bought a beachfront property in San Pedro and made it his home. 
While there, he met Allison Adonisio, a graduate student at Harvard conducting research on plant-based antibiotics. She believed she could use naturally occurring compounds to inhibit bacteria from communicating to each other using chemical signals. This, she opined, would prevent them from coordinating attacks. McAfee was intrigued by the idea and agreed to partner with Adonisio in 2010, even setting up a lab for her in his San Pedro Properties compound. They called the new company Quorum X. They worked on it for a while but never made a breakthrough. McAfee had left the United States shortly after he had been named a defendant in a civil suit that involved the death of a passenger in an aero trekking expedition. His legal problems began mounting in 2012 when Belize law enforcement raided his property on suspicion that he was making illegal drugs in his lab. They found no illegal drugs and McAfee was not formally charged following the incident. Later in November that year, the Belize police named McAfee a person of interest in the murder of his neighbor in San Pedro, Gregory Fall. McAfee denied any involvement in his death. In December 2012, he fled to Guatemala. He was arrested there shortly afterward and deported to the United States. Back in the United States, McAfee began advocating for greater cybersecurity. He had since become a critic of the McAfee antivirus company he founded, claiming the antivirus industry was dead. According to him, PC users were better off preventing viruses and hackers from infiltrating their systems rather than neutralizing viruses once they got into the systems. In 2013, McAfee launched Future 10 Central. The company launched a device called the Decentral that was as small as a smartphone and was unhackable, as McAfee claimed. It could communicate with other device owners close by and offered absolute privacy. In 2014, the company launched the Cognizant app, which showed users all the permissions they granted their installed applications. In 2016, McAfee took up a role as CEO of MGT. He transitioned the company from social gaming to cybersecurity through the blockchain. He even moved it into Bitcoin mining. In January 2018, he left the company. In August 2018, McAfee joined LuxCore as CEO. The company sold blockchain-based enterprise solutions. McAfee also spoke at a number of blockchain and cybersecurity conferences. These included Blockchain National Conference in 2018, the World Blockchain Forum in 2018, StartCon 2019, and World Ethical Data Forum in 2020. In both 2016 and 2020, McAfee tried to get the Libertarian Party's ticket to run for President of the United States. Both times he failed to clinch the ticket. In January 2019, the IRS began investigating McAfee for tax evasion. He fled the country, spending most of his time on a yacht. In July 2019, McAfee was arrested with his associates in the Dominican Republic while on his yacht. Authorities suspected he had dangerous weapons on board. McAfee was held in custody for four days before being released. In 2020, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission filed a complaint against McAfee for running a pump-and-dump cryptocurrency scheme earning him $23 million. McAfee was formally indicted in March 2021. McAfee was arrested in Spain a few months after the formal indictment was announced. On June 23, 2021, a Spanish court authorized his extradition to the United States to face charges. McAfee died hours afterward in a Spanish jail. Reports indicated he died by suicide. John McAfee in the very beginning had a tough life. His father had mental issues, he was abusive, and he later shot himself. Luckily, he was good at studies. He studied well and learned programming, which was a very new thing those days. He used his programming skill to create an antivirus that very soon became popular. And even today, it is considered one of the best antivirus. His life was good and he made $100 million. But in 2008, due to the global recession, his fortune shrunk to just $4 million. He moved to Belize and he saw some problems there. He started to love being controversial. He was so controversial that even his death became one of the most controversial deaths of the modern era. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.